Okay, I'm just visiting Bluefield and I have an opportunity. I, my parents are from here, but I live in, in, in the United States. I have an opportunity to speak with the vice mayor and I just have a couple of questions for her that I'm sure that people in the United States or New York or other people whose parents are from Bluefield as well may want to know the answers to. So we have a chance to speak with her and so she agreed to answer a few questions. Hi. Hi. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Kyla Martin. I'm the vice mayor of City of Bluefield. And um, I'd like to give you a first of all welcome here to Bluefield. Thank you. Um, when you hear about Bluefields, a lot of people are thinking that to find somewhere that is blue, color blue. But you know, we have um, that name comes from a pirate in Indian years, a good years of back. And that um, we give the name of Blue Fields because of him. Mm -hmm. But um, I like you all to know that um, our city is uh, we completed since we became city 104 years. But Blue Fields uh, was been existing from almost 500 years of back. Mm -hmm. But it converted to city almost 104 years. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of Bluefields people that are living in New York. And um, we're trying our best. We have a lot of things to do because in um, about, about 100 years back, we was backward. We didn't have a, a, a government that really put interest to develop our, our city. Imagine we, <coughs> excuse me, imagine we spend, we pass almost a hundred years before we can drink a good drinking water. To the day, uh, almost two years back, we, we received that. We have no uh, good water drinking, you know, to drink. And um, at this moment, we have a big project going on, which is uh, the, the, um, the, we water what we call it barge water because they don't like said black because everything bad sometimes people like say mm -hmm. black and I am so I try to say in Spanish we say eh, agua residual mm -hmm. and in English we say we water mm -hmm. at this moment that that is going on right now mm -hmm. we have a, a company from Korea mm -hmm. the Korean them is that I'm carrying all this project of gas pellet it will be finished like in a, like in the next year, you know, it will be finished. And also we've been working hard on our streets mm -hmm. and we're working right now on where to kind of group is have 18 neighborhoods, mm -hmm. 18 neighborhoods, which, which um, that here in the city we have like 70,000 people living here in the city, but we have 103 com communities that surround us. Mm -hmm. So in total, we have more than 100 and odd people that, that is a part of this municipality. Mm -hmm. And um, when you, um, your people, right now we have a big project coming up. I think it will be like in a couple of months, we have the, um, what we call in Spanish, Puerto, Puerto Profundo, mm -hmm. that one, <clears throat> that going to build. Right here in um, in Rufy's Bay, we have we have bay. Mm -hmm. So um, that going to build here on the bay side, we going to build that, and that going to bring a lot of of work and development for our city. Mm -hmm. First, imagine we when we was to travel to the capital, we only could have done it by plane, by mm -hmm. air, or by water. To mm -hmm. the day we have almost three years, we have a good communication. Mm -hmm. we, we could travel. Any old words at any time we travel on the highway, and we we reach to Managua in like six, seven hours. We mm -hmm. take to reach to the capital, and first we didn't have that. Mm -hmm. This was the only place in the whole Nicaragua that didn't have communication mm -hmm. by road. So now we have it. So that's how we did, got here today. That's how we, did. That's how we got here yesterday. We had the experience yes. of that, and we said that it was pretty good, yeah. a little long. But you enjoy your trip if you know how to enjoy yourself. It's a beautiful so, so view. Because, yeah, and that we just have like three years back, three yeah. years back, you know. And we've been building up, uh, we're planning right now to build what we call um, a complejo 
Deportivo, mm -hmm. which that is, uh, we'll have um, a new stadium, a new um, staff, uh, a new um, place where to where the kids them could go and not only the park, because this is our only park we have right now. Mm -hmm. And that's how we try to, every year we try to um, put something new so the kids and family could go and spend a nice time. Mm -hmm. We're planning to build something much, much bigger than the castles, almost like, um, almost like, like 10 to 15 million, we're talking dollars, something huge, something beautiful. Because Bluefield is where the baseball begins. Mm -hmm. The first time in Nicaragua played baseball was here in Bluefield. From mm -hmm. Bluefield, then they expand to the Pacific. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is our um, principal sport. Mm -hmm. That is what everybody loves. Mm -hmm. The older folks and the young folks in them is the baseball. And we play good baseball here mm -hmm. in Bluefield that we have. Um, some of those guys um, went to Media League Baseball. We have some kids right now that don't, that has been scouted from different teams. For instance, we have from um, Janky. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, also the uh, White Sox. Mm -hmm. Different one being, being looked. And when they're ready to scout out, it's don't care them from because you have all the potential. Not mm -hmm. only Bluefield, but we have the community of Fur Lagoon. Mm -hmm. We have Corn Island, all those different places have good kids, you know, good element that have a lot to offer in the baseball. All right. And I know that you have family that was in baseball, right? Yes, yes. My family is, is, um, yeah. is baseball. Baseball. Um, um, I have my, um, I had an uncle, uh, had an uncle that named Alerta Martin. Mm -hmm. He used to play, um, Along with Mr. Mood, and Mood and Mood and Macho, yeah. his brother, then I had um, my dad. My, yeah, I had my um, uncle mm -hmm. from um, he lived in Siuna. Mm -hmm. He used to live in Siuna right now. Mm -hmm. At this moment, the stadium have his name, Anzelo Martin, okay. and also my father, Guy Martin. Okay. All of them is baseball players, so you know, I have the baseball in my blood, so. <laughs> So it's important. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I have just a couple more questions. Oh, that wasn't even a question. You just told us how you were, what, what your plans were. Um, what would you say are some of the greatest success stories um, in the community that you can, I guess, think of or remember? The greatest uh, successes. Success. What are the, yeah? What are some things that the community is proud of? Or okay. Something? okay. The more successful one that we, 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 we have that we have is the water system, as I mentioned to you, and mm -hmm. our highway. Mm -hmm. Because that highway helped us a lot. Imagine we used to have a, a sick person mm -hmm. or a person that get injured and think they could mm -hmm. leave out until the following day mm -hmm. by um, with, with the company, mm -hmm. La Costeña, the plane, yeah. and sometimes to wait in and all those yeah. Or then the person don't, used to die. Yeah. And now with, with that time highway, any hours you leave out, any hours you like to leave out, you yeah. can leave out. Okay. And I think that is one of our, our greatest, greatest yeah. thing that our um, central government have given us. Okay. Have give us. Um, I know that for <laughs> a lot of uh, tourism, which I would, it would be beautiful for me for Blue mm -hmm. to be a tourist destination. Mm -hmm. Um, so are there, uh, I guess, I guess the, the road would help with that, um, but are there anything, and I know that tourists care about the environment, you know, the plant life, the animal life, are there any plans being done to make, you know, to help with that type of stuff? Okay, this, the highway, I saw you said, really mm -hmm. help us a lot with the tourism. For instance, mm -hmm. for April month, which we, we celebrated, mm -hmm. big is the Easter, Easter week, mm -hmm. and in Mayo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Neymont is the is a, is a biggest activity yeah. we have, and we receive thousands of thousands of people, even from all parts of the world, mm -hmm. England, you see them in the United States, all mm -hmm. around the country. And our, what we've been working hard on is to um, develop the bluff. The bluff is our, mm -hmm. the, the, well, one of the biggest offer of tourism that we, we give it, mm -hmm. uh, that we give. 
broth you take like like 15 mm -hmm. like 10 to 15 minutes and what we call panga what we call mama, panga mm -hmm. and then and that is that beach is very beautiful so what we start to do we start to invest a lot to mm -hmm. to offer the people and something to when they reach and really people love it because mm -hmm. the beach is, is not is imagine they you have the the bear Mm -hmm. and the sea almost meet up together yeah so it's something beautiful mm -hmm. so at this moment we have both we have like a guy that live in united states i mean two of them live in united states them uh, they've been developing the cancer so he said we as government cannot develop the place we need a friend like we need investor, private investor to come and invest mm -hmm. because we alone cannot do everything. Mm -hmm. And that's why that's the reason why we open up a space for mm -hmm. investor to come in and invest in the, the you know the, the money and you know, because it's something that they the secure here. We have um very, this place is very secure. Of course it's like any part of the world you go in a run run mm -hmm. road or a run turn, you will get but in global we could say that um, in whole Nicaragua and Bruce is not the exception that we live we live in peace and harmony and, mm -hmm. and that is what the uh, majority of people when they visit us that is what they were come to some to a way they're going to come and enjoy mm -hmm. themselves with freedom and that's what we have here that's what we offer anybody that reach you because Bruce's people they are very friendly they are very nice people I, I we tell. are very nice people. <laughs> um, besides the road, is there, you, you said that you, you're trying to attract investors. Like, what are some plans to attract the investors? Like, tax incentives. Um, what's being done to, to try to get them here? Okay, we give them we give them a lot of privilege. Mm -hmm. Privilege in the in the in um, like um, if they come and invest, they they have a special tax. Okay. No, we 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 not have, it's not obstacle for nothing for them. We make everything easy for them. If you need to get your papers and prepare and to, to legalize your business, thing, all that mm -hmm. we we've been working as a team and we look out to to um make the person. We don't we don't put any obstacle for the person to come and invest in money because we need them because that's what I tell you that the government alone cannot mm -hmm. cannot only. We cannot give yeah. up our offer jobs if we don't have yeah. a, 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 a private company that, that we do us work. And if we go to check out Golden Pacific, we have Chinese, we have um, Russian, we have Korean, we have everybody that we mm -hmm. invest in putting on big company, like especially one of the biggest company that give a lot of job is what we call the um, the Sona Franca, mm -hmm. where where the where Raleigh close made make here mm -hmm. and then they export it to the United mm -hmm. States and they have and it doesn't have etch in Nicaragua mm -hmm. but it made in Nicaragua and they it just put their brand. They should say it in yeah. Nicaragua. Yeah, they should say Nicaragua but then it's the investor si, si. that that, that si. bring the um, things and um, and hire the people. We have Sona Franca that have almost thousands and of people working. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that creates yeah. a lot of jobs. Yes. And this, these um, call centers and things are uh -huh. working hard uh -huh. here. Mm -hmm. uh, two more questions for you. Um, what What do you find so far to be the biggest challenge uh, of being a mayor here, baby? Yeah, being a mayor, I guess, or just being <coughs> here in Blue Coat right now? Okay, first of all, I got, I got complete almost 10 years here. Mm -hmm. And if I hear 10 years, it's because of something. Mm -hmm. But when I first when I began, the biggest challenge was first a, a woman, mm -hmm. a second as a black woman, because um, thanks to our government, give this we have right now Nicaragua is in the fifth or seventh place that that um, give the woman them right, and the most all institution them being governed by women. Mm -hmm. And that was very important. And also, what they're taking um, in consideration is our ethnic, because we have here on the Atlantic coast, are right here in Bluefield, we have six different ethnic people living. Mm -hmm. And we know to live together, and every one of these ethnic groups have their own culture. Mm -hmm. 
So we live together and one of the most important thing if if a mayor going as man, a woman must be the vice mayor and they take in consideration the ethnical group, especially we what do we call uh, the Carlos Minor Italian the minor one mm -hmm. them is like like yeah. Creole. Yeah, yeah. Because Sherry Booth is the majority of the people and the Spanish speaking and mm -hmm. Spanish people. And um, so black people have the opportunity and I as woman and as black woman I just make much of it. Mm -hmm. I try to do my best, you know, to to do my best in working, attending to everybody, attending to the people, them and giving a good service and that's what happened to their heart. I've been for 11 years this mm -hmm. year to be here. And I saw I was elected twice back mm -hmm. to back. So it is something that, um, and if I'm here, it's because, you know, I try to do my, my best and, I, you know, and I've been working along with the people then, because that's the most important mm -hmm. part. You have to give to the people and work along with the people and not by yourself. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that have me, and that's what one of my biggest challenges when I came in here as woman, because I'm the first first woman in history mm -hmm. who feels have 104 years and I was the first woman that reached here mm -hmm. in this municipality government like every everyone was all in men two men two men two men yeah. two men and I came and I broke, broke the record <laughs> so the woman then behind me could yeah. continue yeah. with work that I've been doing but um, I, I went in history because yeah. today or tomorrow my grandchildren great grandchildren were proud to send my Grandmother mm -hmm. was the first woman that reached here into this municipal government. Now, next one, which I was the first one to reach here, and that make that was a big chance for me, anyhow. Uh, let's <coughs> see, two more, two more questions. Is there anything that you feel that you could have maybe done a little better? You know, you're learning. What are some things, the lessons that you learned that you're like, you know what, I should have probably done this differently or something like that? I have in my um in my plan personal personal and yeah. i would like to see bluefield street built totally because right now our street is in a bad bad condition mm -hmm. and also i would like i try to make the campaign and make a campaign telling the people that we need to protect our environment stop throwing the garbage on the street because everything goes to the bay and the fish is them and thing probably in the next 10, 15 years, we'll have problems to catch a fish. Mm -hmm. You know, so that is my biggest challenge. And I, any, any, whenever I have any opportunity, I mention that. And the dream right now is to build a market only for fish. Mm -hmm. Market of fish where you could go upstairs to go and eat your nice fried fish. And downstairs is where you could come and, and buy your fish and go home and cook it. That's how you like it. But that is one of my biggest challenges to get that. I work in hard for the environment because I love the environment. And what's been this like? What's made it hard to make that happen so far? Our business, as how I told you, that we have a lot of people that can mean to blue feed. They are not blue feed yet. Oh, okay. There is a and most of the people that can mean is people that bring that does bring to us vegetables and things to sell. And then everything then just take and throw into the mm -hmm. to to the to the strange and yeah. so we can and thing and then then it's nothing and that's not good for us. I burn I grew up blue fields and I and I didn't used to see blue fields get um as we use the word flood. No see you never like I yeah no at any as a rain drop over our street there are flood with mm -hmm. water and it wasn't like that. But a lot of people, but not from here, came in and like everything just, and then like our people been following the pattern that mm -hmm. those people been using. Yeah. So when you are in the street, everybody you eat a banana, you try it on and go. Eat and try it on and go. So I all the time, I fight him with that and I fight him, but it's not only me alone. What I am, I can do it alone. But what I've been with the, with the uh, Guarda Barranco, yeah. Is that is your people and that work and protect the environment, they mm -hmm. plant trees and things. Yeah. What I do, I tell them we need to start with the preschool kids then because they are, they are the future. Mm -hmm. So I guess if we work with those children then probably that's Grammy life. I will see blue fields clean on a busy day. Okay. All right, thank you.
you. And just to finish up, what uh, what's the most rewarding part of being a mayor here? The most rewarding part? Yeah. Well, that um, the work that I've been doing, uh, I appreciate a lot of people that come to me and, and, and greet me and, and the community are well known because I, I, I love to mix with the people them and talk with the people. If you eat in bees, you give me bees, I don't eat the bees. And I believe that I, I feel so good when somebody somebody come to me and say, you know, Carla, you've been doing a great job, continue doing the job. And so mm -hmm. that's my people happy about the work that I've been doing that make me feel happy. And that is my reward when someone come to me and say to me, oh, girl, your job is well done. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that let me feel okay. good and nice. All right. Um, so that thank you very much, Carla, right? Mm -hmm. the spice, the spice uh, mayor. Um, and that guess that's all I have for now. I appreciate you for giving us some of your time. Okay. okay thank you.